Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and Shannon Fabrics. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really fun and honestly very easy to make foot warmer. And it just, you know, cuddle fabric, it feels really good on its own, but then you add just a little bit of toastiness and I don't know, you're in heaven, right? For this project, you will need the following. You will need one yard of cuddle fabric. In the example, I use Shannon Fabrics Dolce Vita collection. One yard of muslin or plain cotton. One large bag of rice, thread, rotary cutter, ruler, and mat, scissors, piece of cardstock or paper, snaps, you will need four complete snaps, and a walking foot. It's optional, but highly recommended. All right, once you have all those items, it's time to get started, and I promise you, it will be very easy. We're going to make the bags that hold the rice out of cotton. Now, this is absolutely crucial. Those microwave bags have to be made out of cotton. Do not use cuddle fabric. You will ruin your cuddle fabric, okay? So make sure that you use just a plain cotton. Cheap cotton will work, a muslin will work, flannel will work. Just something that is not, that it came from nature. <laughs> and um, it can take the heat. Cut two rectangles that are 16 inches by 32 inches. Take each rectangle and fold it in over on itself so right sides are together. Then sew all the way around three sides using a half inch seam allowance. Be sure to leave a two inch gap for turning. Turn right side out and using a piece of paper as a funnel, fill each bag with three to four cups of rice. Using your machine, sew the gap shut. Set the bags aside. All right, that looks great. Let's move on to the next step. Cut one piece of cuddle fabric that is 16 by 32 inches. Then cut two pieces of fabric that are 16 inches by 17.5 inches wide. Cut one more piece of fabric that is 16 inches by 12 inches. All right, you're looking good. Next step. Take the piece that is 16 by 12 and fold over each side that is 16 inches wide under one inch. Sew down using a zigzag stitch along the edge. Then take each square that is 16 by 17 inches square and fold under one side, that is the side that is 16 inches wide, under one inch. Sew it down along the edge using a zigzag stitch. Okay, let's keep going. Fold the large piece of fabric in half and mark the halfway point with a pin. Next, take the rectangle and fold it in half and mark the halfway point again with a pin. Line up the pins with wrong sides of the fabric together. Then, pin. Then, sew down the center of the small rectangle using a straight stitch. Next, Pin the two squares of the, to the large rectangle on either side with right sides together, the finished edge towards the center. Sew each side of the rectangle along three sides. Then trim the corners and turn right side out. Next, sew snaps to the interior of the bag in the corners and at the halfway point. Then, simply heat up the rice bags to ins and insert into the pockets and enjoy. You can fold the bag to lay it across your shoulders or you can snap it in half and insert your feet in between the two heat packs. Mm -hmm. 
If you like this project and tutorial, there are several others on Shannon Fabrics' YouTube channel that I know you'll enjoy. So please be sure to subscribe there so you can stay um, in the know of what's going on in their YouTube channel. They also have a great blog where guest bloggers such as myself come and share fun tutorials. So be sure to subscribe to that. Shannon Fabrics, making the world a softer place.